What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Derek, back with another video. And today, we're going to be talking about day two at CDL school, man. So, y'all, today was nothing like how it was, you know, yesterday on day one, where, you know what I'm saying, we was out that joint in like an hour and 15 minutes. Bro, today, we was there from 7 to the time we supposed to leave. And y'all, I, when I'm, I tell you, y'all, when I say this, we, like, we learning, y'all. We in there learning. Like, we not playing no games. We, like, every minute we're taking advantage of and we're learning, like, you know, the course is only four weeks, you know what I'm saying? So my instructor is really, you know what I'm saying, drowning us with um, information, you know what I'm saying? So today, y'all, we went over um, how to uh, log a trip, or you know what I'm saying, log your load. Um, we went over uh, driver safety and do's and do nots and how to, how to deal with um, accidents um how to how to merge you know what i'm saying how to deal with uh drivers that are our rate we even was learning about what to do when you get into an accident and you know what i'm saying the person that maybe hit you or you hit is acting crazy you know what i'm saying just so many so many scenarios that you could possibly get into we were uh, uh learning about uh today and how to act you know what i'm saying in that in that situation you know what i'm saying they say if you get into an accident whether it's your fault or not, you know what I'm saying? The least that you say is is what's better. You know what I'm saying? They said never admit guilt, guilt. Let the let the, let the police do that, you know what I'm saying? Cuz they might they might be able to find some things that, you know, you wasn't aware of and you already said, "Oh, it's my fault." But the driver in, in, in front of you, man, could have been drunk, and that's why you ran into the back home or however, I don't know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just just so many scenarios, y'all. Just so many scenarios. Scenario, scenario, same thing. But you know, so many things that could happen that could take place that you need to be aware about and what you need to do in those uh, particular situations. But uh, to me, really the main thing that we went over today was uh, the log book, y'all. Like my, my instructor was really trying to uh, stress to us how important the, um, the log book is and uh, what's it for, and you know what I'm saying, how you can get in trouble if you're not doing it right, or if you're trying to cheat your log book, you're lying, you know what I'm saying, you can get fined if you lie, you can get, uh, you know what I'm saying, your company can get fined, and then, you know, you can get audited by the DOT, and then they can pull records from all the way up to six months back, you know what I'm saying, from all your logs, and they, they'll literally sit there and count up all your hours and try to make sure you know what i'm saying everything is where it needs to be and if they found a loophole or something they find they, they see something they adding up they're gonna find you and they're gonna find your company and you're probably gonna get fired from your job and you're gonna be jobless and i'm not sure if that gets uh reported but i think it does get reported on like your your cdl account i'm not i'm not exactly sure what it's called yet but you know they'll be able to see that you had kind of gotten to some trouble with lying on a log book or you know what i'm saying doing something fraudulent or doing something that you're not supposed to do y'all so when you do get on the road when you do get on the road you know make sure that you you know what i'm saying being truthful in those books and i know some people just make mistakes it's a lot of math guys like here I, it's a paper put right here that we went over it was like all these numbers and you know what i'm saying all this stuff that we had to calculate and I'm gonna show y'all, you know what I'm saying, try to break down this to y'all. So pretty much we got this thing called a 70 hour reset and you got a uh, you got a 60 hour reset. So pretty much with, it, with in a seven day work week, you cannot work no more than 60 hours without doing a 34 hour reset. Meaning that if you work 60.25 hours, in one week, you have to have to reset for 34 hours. And what I mean by reset is you cannot work for 34 hours. You have to take a uh, a, a day, a day and a half off, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much a day and a half off. You have to, like they're gonna tell you, you cannot work no more until you take your 34 hour reset. And it's saying for a uh, eight day reset, you cannot work uh, no more than 70 hours 
in the last eight days, my fault, y'all, my nose was itching for some reason. I don't got coronavirus, y'all, chill out. I ain't got no corona coronavirus. But, uh, yeah, you cannot work no more than 70 days. I mean, I said 70 days. 70 hours in a, uh eight-day period without having to do a 34-hour reset. So, and you know, daily-wise, you can only drive but 11 hours at most. And you can only be on duty for 14 hours at most before you have to do a 10 hour reset the 10 hour reset means you know you pretty much can't do nothing pertaining to you know what i'm saying the responsibilities of the truck or your job for 10 hours you know it don't mean that you don't lose responsibilities you know what i'm saying of everything you just can't drive and you can't be on duty for those 10 hours once those 10 hours are up you're good to go. You can go drive all you want, get your loads, do all of that, y'all. So we uh we're going over a lot. We're going we're definitely uh going over a lot. It's a real big, big uh step up from what we did yesterday. And he was telling us that tomorrow is even gonna be a more uh work heavy day. You know, he said we're going over the general knowledge, uh combinations and air brakes, and we're taking a few more tests. Uh, cause you know, I already have my permit, but for the people that don't in the class, they have to go do all that on Thursday. So that's what they're preparing for. And it's just a refresher for me pretty much. So that's pretty much how's that going. But yeah, we watched tons of videos. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a nine hour day. We probably watched like four and a half hours of videos. Y'all about scenarios and safety do's and do nots. I think I said this already. But yeah, videos on top of videos on top of videos. And then we took like seven tests um, about the videos. Of course, we did it uh, collect collectively as a class. But you know what I'm saying? We all got through it. It's just, it's really time consuming, y'all. It's definitely time consuming. But my instructor is definitely try to, trying to make sure that we're uh, getting the information and that the information is uh, sticking with us, which it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure. Uh, tomorrow we're going to do the same thing just with uh, different content which is for the uh, permit test and hopefully we move on to you know starting to get hands on y'all because I'm ready to get I'm ready to get hands on so bad y'all like I, I know how to shift a uh, 10 speed somewhat but you know I'm, I, I know it's like you got one two three four five switching into high gear you come all the way back to one which is really six seven eight nine ten you know what i'm saying but learning the clutch and getting in the gears y'all i feel like that's gonna be a little challenging for me you know what i'm saying like i drove a, a stick before and i drove in a 10 speed truck before but just in a lot just trying to practice you know what i'm saying nothing nothing really too major so uh, I really am hoping I grasp the information or like the skill set to switch gears and all that really, really fast, you know, because uh, like I'm not letting nobody stop me. I'm not letting nothing stop me, y'all. I don't care what it is. Nothing is stopping me from getting my CDL at this point, y'all. Like, and this is why I'm trying to share this information with y'all so i can learn as much as i can and then tell y'all what i'm learning just to give y'all the upper hand you know because i would want somebody to do the same thing for me i would want somebody to give me you know what i'm saying the upper hand you know just just to make it easier for the next guy